I'm not boasting or anything, but I have zero luck when it comes to lotteries. Zero. I've never won a free candy bar. I've never won a free popsicle. Always assigned the front row, middle seat at school. Never been sat by the girls I liked either. I've never won a prize from a magazine, and there's no way I'll ever win an expensive prize. Not even if the world is ending. Oh yeah, and the lottery mantra about buying 10 tickets to assure one winner is an exception. I wouldn't call that a legit win. But whatever. My point is, I have no luck whatsoever for any lottery that exists on Earth. For all 17 years I've lived, I haven't rolled, scratched, or picked a winning ticket ever. So, it was natural for me to show no interest in the lottery ticket I was given when I bought ingredients for dinner. Come one, come all! If you have a lottery ticket, right this way! Please stop and try your luck! We have a one-of-a-kind grand prize today! It will be in your family for generations. Come give it a try and bring your energy. I've heard the goddess of luck only has a single tuft of hair on her forehead. It sucks that I have to be the one to turn down such an old school punk of a goddess. Or so I say, but that girl and that maid outfit. If ever there were a goddess of destiny, she'd have to be as insanely cute as her. And then my eyes happen to lock with that girl's. That girl who any healthy boy would have one or two dreams about. Looking back, the moment our eyes met signaled the bottoming out of my bad luck. Do you have any, kind sir? What? Money? Do not be silly. I am not panhandling. I am asking if you have any lottery tickets. Um, yeah, I do. But... Okie dokie. Here comes our next contestant. Hey, wait. And here we are! Gather your courage and spin that wheel to your heart's content, Mr. Contestant! No, really, I asked you to hold on. I have a ticket, but I wanted to give it to my little sister when I got home. Oh, boy. How hopeless. Doing such a trivial thing to try and make your sister like her big brother even more? Come now. You must man up, as they say. Win the grand prize like a boss! That's probably not possible. Tisk tisk tisk. You better change your attitude, mister. You have given up before you have tried. Th thanks for that. Okay, here we go! Spin our lottery thingamajig! Spin it all you want! Life is a gamble where everything is left to chance! Winning or losing is just one roll of the dice away! Now then, this lottery machine of destiny is locked and loaded for you! Um, well, since I'm kinda set on declining, do I still have to spin it? You sure do! So, I must do this? You certainly must! These days, when such a cute girl pesters you, saying you must do something, most guys would jump on that immediately. And I am absolutely counted amongst most guys. I... I won? 
You're messing with me. Congratulations, Mr. Winner! You have won the grand prize! It took years of losers and countless people who insisted on checking inside to make sure that a winning ball even exists! But the time has finally come! At long last! The lottery machine of destiny has finally found the chosen one it has been seeking! I... can't believe it. It's been 17 long years since I was born, and I never thought I'd see the day I won a lottery's grand prize. Oh, wait! I never even asked what the prize was. I shall let you become God. Huh? I don't seem to be injured. I mean, there's no blood or anything. Not even a bruise. I shall let you become God. There's no way. Become God? It's just ridiculous. I just need to get home for now. My sister's gonna be pissed again. You seem to be in a benevolent mood. I am glad you have arrived in Celestia, Lord. Today is the beginning of a new era. L lord I was a teensy bit worried, but I did follow exactly what was written in my handbook. If you did not wake up soon, I started to think that I was guilty of committing deicide. Deicide, huh? So, you were serious? Serious about me becoming God? I am almost always serious, without a shade of goofiness. You were chosen to be God by the Honorable Lottery Machine of Destiny! Choosing who will become God by lottery? You've got to be a little bit nutty. There's no way this is happening. Huh? I must admit, this is unexpected. I figured you would be much more delighted. Telling me out of nowhere that I'm God? Of course I wouldn't be delighted. I mean, who are you, anyway? Why, I am terribly sorry for my late introduction. I am Lilia Sotome. Apparently in your world, my existence is commonly referred to as an angel. Uh, an angel? Dressed as a maid? And you have a last name? Japanese? Sao Tome? I mean, where do I even begin? <laughs> even angels have last names, you see? Oh, okay. Then I should just ignore the fact that an angel is dressed like a cosplay maid, huh? Still, if you're supposed to be an angel, where are your wings? Or your halo? both a halo and lovely white wings. Is that a sufficient display? Um, Lord? Yeah, that works. You 
certainly are a bona fide angel. So that means it's also true that I'm God? No way. I still can't wrap my head around it. And I, Lilia Sautone, am your exclusively assigned angel who shall tirelessly serve you. Pleased to be working with you, Lord. Sure. Same here. I'm... Renya Kagodazaka, was it? How'd you know? <laughs> because I am an angel! So, can I ask you something? Yes, you certainly may. Please feel free to ask me anything, so long as it has an actual answer. Let's suppose I really was chosen to become God. If I say I want to quit, what would happen? Well, I did not research the details all that much, but according to my handy dandy manual, apparently you will be consumed. Consumed? What's that even mean? Are you gonna eat me? <laughs> of course not, silly. I will do no such thing. Then who? Who could say? It is not written in my handbook, so I have no idea who would be the one consuming you. So, uh... The only certain thing I've learned from this is that the so-called grand prize is pretty much the worst thing ever. Now, now. You are God. Why not look at the greener side of the grass instead of acting so depressed? To the best of my novice abilities, I shall give you as much support as I am able. Now then, Lord, allow me to introduce you to my seniors. Please, this way. Seniors? So there are more angels here? Why, yes. Here in Celestia, we have seven angels on permanent residence, including myself. Though they were not assigned to you, they will also be giving you their support, Lord. Please, come with me. I thought I had woken up from a weird dream, but I'm still inside that dream. I feel like I'll sprout wings of my own and fly beyond the day after tomorrow next. I can't wrap my mind around it. I am now God. Well, of course I can't. Not like I've done anything godlike yet. But that girl, with her long, beautiful, swaying hair, she is definitely an angel. Made outfit aside, Japanese last name of Sao Tome aside, man, endless questions aside. Hello, my seniors. I have guided the one chosen as God by the lottery machine of destiny here to Celestia. A pleasure to meet you, Lord. My name is Rakiel Ijuin. I hope we can get along. What a gorgeous man! Uh, a handsome butler with glasses. Sometimes the world is so unfair. Hey, I'm Kurorio Riyazaki. Nice to meet you, God. She's pretty casual sounding. Well, I can appreciate that. Seems easy to approach, at least. You look satisfied, Lord. I am Lanayo Shiritori, also known as the Dead End Trigger. Dead End Trigger? Did she get that from an anime or something? I mean, why is an angel acting so evil? I am 
Sherry and Ayana Koji. I hope we become really close friends. Holy moly! Those tits are Old Testament huge! Such monstrous cans could only exist on an angel. Those are big boobs perfected. Made in God's image indeed. Thank you, God! My name is Galshian Himakawa. It is an honor to meet you, Lord. He's almost too refined. More of an Earl than a butler. He seems serious, so he's probably reliable. Nice to meet you all. Starting today, I am, apparently, God. But you can call me Renya Kagurazaka. Everyone, let us all get along. But wait, it is not like you are a transfer student, Lord. So act a bit more dignified. Having God act so timid like that? What kind of example do you think that will set for the faithful masses? Still, assigning me the role of God from out of nowhere? There's no way I'd know how to act. As the Almighty Father. Once more, Lord, with confidence. You got it. Raise your heads, my heavenly host. Didn't you say there were seven angels? Oh, you are correct. Miss Nelio Tojo is not here today. She rarely exits her chambers. So basically, she's a shut-in. Indeed. Indeed, she says. I didn't know angels had such human personalities. This is blowing my mind. Four angels dressed like hot maids, two angels dressed like handsome butlers, and one shut in. And then there's me. Despite being referred to as God, I still look like a boring, stereotypical high school student. Even if she says this is Celestia, I can't help but think it's all a prank. Seriously, what's going on here? What do they want me to do, anyway? Of course. They'll give me some stupid chore to take care of. Something bordering on illegal, no doubt. I've got a feeling that's it. I may not have any luck whatsoever, but I can still trust my gut. Oh, I finally get to move around! Whew. Salutations and welcome to the Guided Foot Paradox. Why did that take, uh, more or less 20 minutes? Um, three words, one hyphen possibly in that. Nuponuchi Software. Yeah, they're behind this game. Uh, doing this because this is another, uh, silly, uh, scenario. Funnily enough, because the main character is voiced by... <laughs> uh, Jude Mathis. And Princess Yui, lifelong dictator of Yosei Teikoku. What is that, man? Well, don't ask, don't tell, Tiki. I need to change your background music with plays. But you need to buy it before I can play it for you. Don't even have that kind of money. Or uh, probably any money right now. I won't smile from your praise. My name is Rakiel Ujin. If you have a question about your duties, you consult with Lilio. Gotcha. Wait, duties? <laughs> Do we? Oh, I forgot. You <laughs> can jump really fast. I don't think this is a monster due to our appearance. I already thought that. He also brought our heads indicate we're divine servants. Let us get along. And of course. The record hut. We keep track of every single thing you do. You can look at the records you set or any pictures you've unlocked. Check it. Sorry, what you call it? So we're just gonna probably eat too far. Oh no. Just once we start talking to people. 
Oh, no. Maybe not. Divine skill. Personal history. Yeah, 20 minutes and counting. Shush. I have high hopes. I'm Galshan Himikawa. Please come to me whenever you have business. Nice to meet you. Please, call me Galshan. Kaka! Miss Nelly is loyal vassal! I shall deliver any message you may have to her myself! So this is how to communicate with a shut-in angel. Miss Nelly is busy working. Please don't call her a shut-in. I'll pick your eyes out, I will. Kaka! Come in here to meet the rest of them? I'm trying to remember this game after years upon streaming it. That's the spirit. Kuroyo Ryuzaki. Kuroyo? It's Kuroyo. Nice to meet you. No need for the miss. Just Kuroyo is fine. You are... Ashley Birch. If I'm not mistaken. Woo. Some bugs out here. The crack between dimension floors. Crack between... What? Can I ever go home? Who knows? You're asking the wrong person. You won the lottery. You really are God. I tried to spin it too, but never won jack squat. Isn't that just how luck works? No, I even spun it with nothing but the winning ball inside. It didn't come out because it got stuck inside somehow. Seriously? Yes, yeah, seriously. You are indeed God. Those uniforms are the angels, but where the being who created our best found particularly lovely. It's a secret. Don't let me down. Lana Yelshi Ritori. No one in certain circles is the right commander. Engrave my second name onto your soul. What about your, uh... Yeah, it was something different earlier. You're annoying. Fine. Lana Yel will do. You won't remember any of that other stuff. Seriously, Celestia? Am I not dreaming? I'm not dreaming, am I? If you're having trouble believing it, would you like to give me a really hard step? Uh, no. Oh, there you are. Hello, little one. Wanna learn more about your big sister, Cherry Ayano, Ayano Koji, this badly? Uh... Boobs? There'll be more love you looked in my... <laughs> Eye contact, got it. Pull it together, Renya, you just became God! Leave it to me! If you would like, Lord, I can explain your job to you now. How about it? Allow me to advance the story. Alright, another 10, 15 minutes. This game gets a little... Uh, quite wordy. But I'll pipe in more now that I've actually introduced myself in the game. Hem. <laughs> Allow me to get to the point, Lord. You shall begin your work henceforth. And tried to stifle my laughter as best I could every single time she went, ha ha The voices praying for God's help are delivered here to Celestia 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Earnest prayers, inconsequential wishes, wicked desires. All sorts of requests from various worlds end up here with us. These are then stored in this handy device here, the Fate Revolution Circuit. Lord, your job is to offer your assistance in granting their wishes. Uh, hold on. Wouldn't that be an, um, ungodly amount of requests pouring in? But um, tss. Please do not worry about that. There is no need to grant every single one. For God to handle over 100 million wishes is an impossible task. That is where the Fate Revolution Circuit comes into play. By using its filtering function, we can search for wishes that correspond to God's current ability level. It is our, the angel's duty to select which wish to grant out of those results. Because this is your very first day on the job, I have selected a wish for you as your exclusive angel partner. I see. So that's the selection process for how prayers are answered. With my bad luck, mine would never get chosen. Before selecting a wish, there is one... Mm, significant precaution you must adhere to. Once a wish is selected, you must fulfill it by any means necessary. 
that is what we in Celestia call the Golden Rule. So, if I can't grant it? According to my handbook... Oh, yep, you will get consumed. I know I asked this before, but who's going to consume me? It's bothering me way more than it probably should. Jeez, does God have to assume such an unforgiving risk? This is more like a punishment game. Well, getting consumed is probably just a silly joke by the handbook's author. It is impossible for God to be eaten. <laughs> yeah, right? That's a pretty dumb joke, though. All right, Lord! Let us enter the Fate Revolution Circuit! What? We go inside it? Of course. So, Lord, just as a formal confirmation, have you had any experience as God before? I'm a black belt in God Kwon Do, and I'm gonna regret not picking that, but... Of course not. What kind of human would have experience as God? Come on. Second answer is New Game Plus answer. <laughs> My sincerest apologies. Allow me to flip the tutorial function lever. Let us begin our journey together, Lord. Right now we begin a little bit of the gameplay here. Instead of the Fate Revolution circuit looks like this. We have not entered the circuit yet to be precise. This is a virtual space used as a tutorial for our new god. Dungeons are created with the Fate Revolution circuit, and there are many obstacles shall try and prevent you from granting wishes. But do not worry, I will explain the basis of dungeon exploration so you can properly confront such obstacles. When you want to move, the direction pad will move you where you want to go. You may move one tile at a time. You wish to change directions without moving? Please use the square button with the pad of your ch button of your choosing. How about trying it out? Use the mini map on the right side of the screen to help you navigate to the next room. This will take a bit of getting used to with that. Where'd my field of vision go? Oh, inside the dungeon, once you exit a predefined room, the machine will reduce the data transfer as it loads a new area. In other words, as the machine prepares the next step in your journey, you'll experience a reduction in your field of vision. So I pop back in and... Oop, pick that up. You have picked up a food item. When you're exploring any dungeon, you will still use up your youthful energy. The top left of this screen has a gauge that is labeled N. It shows your remaining energy. At zero, your HP drains. And once that reaches zero, you faint and will be forced to exit back to Celestia. To prevent such a sad thing, make sure you eat when you're hungry and keep that energy gauge from emptying. You can eat food items by selecting the item option from the main menu. Please feel free to eat in front of me now. Feel free. Want to get sick if I eat stuff I pick up off the ground? Not at all! It would absolutely be silly if God got a tummy just by picking food up off the floor and eating it. Wouldn't it be silly if God just ups and eats an apple off the floor too? Oh yeah, and in case you're starting to... If you haven't figured it out yet, this game is a, um... In the vein of those, uh, Chocobo's Dungeon or... Pokemon Mystery Dungeon? A lot of moving around, enemies on screen. Gotta keep your stamina up by eating things. Uh, Lilio, there's some weird device over here, but this barrel's all up in my grill. What is this grill? Well, no matter. You should pick it up and chuck it to a place more convenient. It's a pretty big barrel. That does not matter inside the machine. Press the right stick when next to a barrel any similar item, and you can pick it up. Press it again, you can throw whatever you picked up far away. Give it a manly try. Mwahaha! Also, that weird device is the gateway that will take you to the next floor in the dungeon. Passing through gates is how we will progress inside of the Fate Revolution circuit. Which means there's more of this place to explore. Since there weren't other passages, I thought we were almost done. Guiding phase is not so simple, Lord. This ultimately serves to help you, so please bear with it a bit longer. Oh, wait, wait. Right stick? Left stick? It said the button. Ah! 
you're more exploring dungeons, we can communicate like this. It won't affect your duties if we do not communicate, but I would be relieved if, if you talk to me every now and then. It is not a relic for you as well, Lord, fighting with someone rather than fighting all alone. The Illinar one moves me. Select takes the map away. Oh, I can just do this. And pal, lighter than I expected, honestly. If it's only this heavy, I can probably walk around while holding it. Dude, you may walk around while holding obstacles and items including barrows, but movement while still carrying things will expend much more energy, so keep an eye on that gauge. The Fleet Revolution circuit is built, so you must bear some kind of burden to strengthen your body. Please do not do anything rash. So let's face this way. Oh, I can do it that way. Get out of my way. Next floor. We've arrived at a different place, so that's what's going through a gateway feels like weird. You are correct. It is Dungeon Exploration 101 to go through such gates in order to advance and still got the deepest floor. But once you enter a gateway, you can't go back. Make sure to take everything you want along with you. Okie dokie, Lord. Let us move on to the next step. Please advance to the end of this area. I forgot I can hold circle as well. I remember doing it very quickly. Just fly right through. Some kind of trippy creatures here. They refer to those trippy creatures as aberrations in the circuit. These are just tutorial gnomes, but they will act the same. When you dive into the Foot Revolution circuit proper, Lord, you'll have to face the real thing. I gotta fight those nasty things? Yes! Aberrations exist solely to resist the guiding of the Believer's Foot. By wiping them out, you may continue to guide their foot. Guide their foot? I'll explain it in more detail later on, but allow me to do out some basic advice you want in order to fight foes. The secret to clearing any dungeon is to look around and act calmly, even when you find yourself in a pinch. Have you noticed the aberration surroundings light up as white in color? That's their field of vision. As long as it's showing up in white, you have not been seen by them. But if you step on the white tiles or if an aberration moves closer to you, they'll turn red. If that happens, the aberration will chase you like a, um, wild animal. So you will need to move them and fight it out. Am I supposed to do that? Not with my bare fist, I hope. That would be an acceptable method, truly. You can attack aberrations by facing them and hitting X. You are God, after all. Show you the raw might to punch a boulder or two into submission. No, 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 please don't have such ludicrous expectations of a high school student. Actually, those guys aren't moving. Are they patiently waiting for me to walk up and punch them in the face? Not at all. Time within the machine progresses as only as God takes action. In other words, it is a turn-based system. You take a step, the aberrations will do the same. That is how time moves with the machine. So I can, uh... Oh! Hmm. Oh, they spotted me. Alright, but I can swing wildly there, face it, bam! Oh! No flipping away, I really did boot it barehanded. Do not drop your guard, Let. If the aberration you defeat screams as it dies, which it just did. You know, not in their field of vision, they'll figure out where I am thanks to their dead allies scream. It appears the enemies this time are far away enough that you could not hear you. Now's the time to sneak on them from behind and strike first. Like so! Looks like I did a little more damage doing it that way, too. You are true to your name, Lord. You really think so? Maybe I have some talent after all. Dude, you just punched two bats. Just calm it down there, Renya. If the battle's going like this, the situation will quickly go more challenging and tiring for you. Even God rests on the seventh day. I never given you a story HP whenever aberrations are nowhere to be seen. It heals as you walk around, but you never know how long it'll be before you stumble across another dangerous aberration. This is when you can use the special standstill option. Press the X and circle button simultaneously to heal in one spot. It'll quickly restore your HP, but it will use up your energy because while not moving, you're still using it up. I just have to stand still. Okay, press those buttons and try it. There we go. It was still burning through my leader. I gotta be careful with that. Obviously, a sleep or silly lord. It's your job to hit an enemy with it. They'll instantly fall asleep. You may throw an item by choosing item and then throw via the main menu. I get close to and attack aberrations by putting them to sleep with this thing. Sounds nice and convenient. Uh, item. Oh, here's all the... what you call it? Oh, that's a broken up. And smack you in the face! Should be bad, fall asleep. Next floor. Oh, I picked up a weapon. I can equip myself with this. You did indeed. Equipment you find in the dungeons are known as divine equipment, but it really is just equipment, Lord. 
You can equip any such items by opening the menu menu and choosing equip. Equip in five areas. Head, each arm, legs, and your torso. Want to get a success in battles changing equipment to suit the situation your preferred method of smiting, Lord? But I picked up a dagger. I'm gonna get to equip myself with stuff, but I mean, really? As God's important to have a certain air about me, so what's with the pathetic little dagger? Please do not worry about appearances. The end shall justify the moons. Gotta learn to crawl before you can learn to walk. That doesn't sound like something an angel should say. But, but, but that's not me speaking, honestly. That is what's written in my manual. Pretty crappy manual, then. Oh, yes. When you attack an enemy with your divine equipment, you will strike them with the equipped item. Strike like punch, so even though I have this dagger, I'm still going to be punching them while holding the item, not slashing? Correct. And it's completely useless, then. Mwah! Ha! Ha! I will go into further detail regarding the true power of divine equipment later. Let's just put it on for now. Oh, you have daggers. Wait. Switch carry. Okay. Attack plus 10. Also a percentage. That looks like a tough one. Be careful, Lord. As you surmise, that one is indeed powerful. I may have to think of a different approach to fighting it. How about give me an idea or two? Allow me to lecture in the true value of divine equipment. Each item holds within it a divine skill. That sounds sweet. Using this option will open up powerful new abilities, latent in all your equipped items. For now, let us use the dagger. Activate your current skills by using left stick and then pressing the X button while pointing to the desired skill you want to lose. Keep in mind, each divine skill is an area of effect. And if no enemies are present within it, you may not use that skill. There's also six skill attributes to keep in mind. Slash, bash, stab, fire, wind, water. The dagger's divine skill uses the slash attribute. If it is an attribute the enemy is weak to, damage displays in yellow. Yellow means extra damage dealt, so I recommend you focus on exploiting weaknesses as often as possible. Using a divine skill reduces your SP, which is a current, which is the measure of your current mental limits. But like with HP, your SP recovers over time, so use divine skills as much as you want while staying mindful of your level. If you are stingy with your skills and lose because of that, you will be full of regrets. Oh, I see. Oh, right stick is... I see. Let's see, the up was... Oh, I had to move the stick. Because then the left one, you can see my dagger in that slot there. I move it to that and... Too many pieces as the name implies. I still gotta get close to them. Level up! Next floor. Oh, you have completed your task. What amazing battle skills, Lord. And that is all the basic knowledge you need to operate the Fate Revolution Circuit. Using this knowledge, please guide the fates of those whose wishes you will grant. That is your job as God. Next time will be the real deal. Please make sure you are prepared. I will wait in this exact spot for you. The general store is now open. You will find various things for sale there. Many will help you in your efforts to grow strong. So please become a regular. I don't have any money, to, but let's take a look all the same. We'll save money even Celestia, so with money comes power. Buying power! Earn lots and spend it all at our store. I got 500 of something. Let's see. Wooden shield might be useful. What else we got as far as items go? Items, restoration, increase attack, orbs, escape the dungeon like a champ if we knew to. Which is probably very, very useful. I like the idea of attacking things from a distance myself, so let's get that pistol. Oh, I already said this already. Ah, damn it! I hit that button again! So let's just equip that real quick. There might be stolas. A dagger and a pistol. No status so far. Hmm. It's a level 1, but my uh, stats went up a little bit. 
Ah, uh, yes, the storage. That'll probably be a thing later. And she'll be with you, too, helping out with this. With her healing. Busy tips about dungeon exploration. I've written all the necessary information will be required to know. If you're unsure about something or need it to be hint, please refer to this lovely man manual. Even though it may not be the with you, I hope this book will be of use. Sincerely, Liliel. Hmm. Take too long to go through. Good luck to you. Shall we enter the revolution circuit, Lord? Me first. All right, Lord. Please excuse my hand. Huh? W what? Heavens, Lord. Why is your face turning red? Um, well, I mean, because, you know, my hand. Uh, why? Jeez! Silly lord! God is at the climax of puberty, I see. That sure might complicate matters. However, there is no need for you to be modest before me. I am your exclusive Personal angel to command, after all. But when you put it like that... In order for an angel as inexperienced as me to dive into the Fate Revolution circuit, direct contact with God is required. This game's rated too. Stop that shit. Honestly, this will be my very first time. Please be gentle with me, okay? I'm looking at the box! It's a two rating! Your first time? A very hard worded to look at all this suggestive language. Why, yes. I just arrived in Celestia recently. And in truth, this is my first time helping out with God's work. I am so sorry I kept quiet about that. It must be difficult having such an inexperienced angel assigned to you. No, it's not difficult at all for me. It's my first time being God, so let's get along as mutual newbies. What I mean is, let's do our best. Together. A absolutely Thank you for the kind words. I will help out my Lord and God as much as I possibly can. Okay. I look forward to it. All right, Lord. Let us go for it and guide their fate. Lesson one, the open string intermedio. This is what it looks like inside the Fate Revolution circuit, then? It's pretty normal. I can breathe just fine. The Fate Revolution circuit. This is actually a portion of the real world copied and pasted into the machine. It copied and pasted a part of reality, then? Indeed. When granting the believer's wish, God cannot interfere in the real world directly. And why is that? Various reasons. But mainly, if humanity learns that God will grant their wishes, they would slack off in their own efforts. That's true. We already turn to God and pray for success on exams, or finding love. If they observe God's existence with their own eyes, more people would pray but they wouldn't try to work hard on their own. No. On the contrary, maybe monsters and demons would pop up and whine, saying, Why won't you grant my wish? <laughs> yes, why won't you grant my wish? Who will domination and all the plutonium? And that is why the copy world exists. Only the pertinent parts of someone's wish are brought here from the real world. 
And there is a symbiotic relationship between the copy world and the real world, which we call the original world. Uh, what? I shall clarify. It simply means that if you guide their fate in the copy world, the original world will also change. You guide in the copy world, you guide for real. As God directly changes the individual's fate in the copy world, the original world is indirectly changed. That is basically it. What an amazing machine. So if I grant the wish in the copy world, it's granted in reality, too. That is correct, Lord. Okay. According to my handy-dandy manual, the individual's information is on its way. Mommy, Mommy, read me more of the story, please. I can't stand it any longer. I'm fed up with that prince's conceited face. I guess? I so wish to be in love. A passionate, burning romance. One that would set my heart ablaze. But even if I wish for that, I'm just some fairy tale character. Fourth wall? Not even God could grant my wish. Oops, this simply won't do. The story's curtain is about to rise again. And like clockwork, I will meet the prince and find my happily ever after ending. It's more like a nightmare, honestly. What was that? It felt like a projector was showing a movie inside of my skull. That was the fake revolution circuit showing you the current state of the original world. Then that makeup cakes chick blabbing about burning love or whatever is the wisher? I'm getting a headache. Oh my, this does not bode well. Originally, she had a strong desire to change her fate on her own. Now, with you involved, Lord, her fate has already begun to change. Huh? What's that supposed to mean? What am I supposed to do about it? Do not think on it too much, Lord. Fight her demons inside the machine? That will help to guide her fate! Just by beating stuff up, I'll guide her fate? That's utterly ridiculous. All explanations will come with time. First, please explore this world inside the machine and aim for the next floor. I've prepared a small gift before you head off. I do not quite know you personally very well yet, but so I must ask you a question. Your preferred method of fighting? Strong close quarter stuff? I like ranged attacks? I mean, I did pick up the pistol. You gonna give me a freebie? You got a gun. Divine skills for guns can be used from afar, but regular attacks will still be close range. I believe humans will call it pistol whipping? Oh, and the item I've given you is a little something extra. Please sure to equip it your personal angel's selfless gift. You must promise me. Well, yeah. Oh. I have a fire wand. Where'd my sword go? I don't get to keep that? Or is that just... Wait, no, I do have it. Oh, my pistol. Wow. I guess I was right to buy that. That's already set up. Um... I don't know if they'll let me save in here or not, though. Give up and go to title screen? Unsaved data will be lost. Ooh, I don't want that. I didn't... Because I didn't save at all yet. I don't have to... Now, oh, shit. 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 Well, let's see if it's not playing right now. 
but I can do what you call here. Wait, I give you the pistol. Switch my characters. Oh no, I have a pistol. You do too. That's okay, I'll keep mine. Or, actually I think if you do wield the same weapon, you get like a bonus uh, skill. Ooh, didn't see you. And I actually have bat wings. Come up here. Nah, oh, damn it! I was gonna get in range and hit it before you. And kind of run around here and get to the uh, what, suspend. Save and return to the title screen. Okay. And then it's. Well, it'll be a suspended save, but again, I don't see much in going any further because of how wordy this game is, as you saw. What was that? It was like 20 plus minutes before we got to the actual say anything. So yeah, I will see you next time on the Guided Foot Paradox.